up guys and welcome back to Media Man Dan. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. Today I am finally going to go over the one and only song that you can find in Japanese from Love Bites. Correct me if I'm wrong there. You told me that this is the song on the EP that I really need to check out and I'm going to react to it not once not twice, but three times. We're going through the EP version, the LP version, and the live version. I hope you guys have a great time rocking with me to Bravehearted. Let's rock! I miss that. When I was talking about the other song, there was a moment on the EP that didn't exist on the LP where you could hear it in one ear and then the other ear. And this has the exact same intro. That is awesome. Sorry I missed out on that. Oh man, that is a cool sound effect. Is it bad that I already love this because I can't understand a thing she's saying and it doesn't bother me at all? It just sounds so much more natural. the instrumentation on this. Beautiful tone. I love the way this shreds so much. guitar, piano, some electric synth sampling.
That was awesome. Um, I am actually really impressed because a lot of people said this is what their original sound could have been had they decided not to go for English. So now I really want to know what it sounds like in English, which I will be going into very shortly. But musicality wise, they are absolutely top notch. I am not kidding. I love this band. I don't know how the hell I am not finding out all of these international artists and superstars that should be giant overseas and they don't even touch any of our airwaves. Like, I can't find anyone that knows who this band is until I find these artists. So thank you guys again for recommending the amazing band that is Love Bites. Please let me know what you guys think of this song. If you like the Japanese version or the English version more, in the comments down below. Other than that, let's go right into the English version because I know that the production is going to be so much better on this. I also know that the guitar is so, so important. And that little orchestral section that they're having using a lot of sampling sounds really, really good with the mix. But I want to know what that softer moment was and I want to hear how it sounds remastered. So let's rock! And I didn't rock as hard last time either, so let me change that up for you. <laughs> Kidding, I'm not gonna do that, that's crazy.
so, so good. It's like an amazing surprise. Alright, as expected, absolute perfection and that production makes it so much better. I can't tell you if I like the English version more though. I honestly think that sticking to a natural language that you're more comfortable with, if it works for you, stick to it because it sounds so fluent. This is a very good song for both languages though. They are absolutely in the exact same time frame. The vocal delivery is the exact same amount. So you don't have to worry about saying like super capifragilistic expialidocious in Japanese and then hopefully being able to sing it on the exact same beat. That definitely helps it and it boosts it. But I wouldn't mind if they were all Japanese. Like honestly, they're insanely talented either way and singing in a different language doesn't really bother me i just need to have some subtitles or some context and honestly when i'm listening to these love bites songs when i'm reacting to them versus when i'm listening to them in my free time i'm not really listening for the lyrics i'm listening for the musicality i'm listening for the instrumentals i'm listening for the insane amount of work that went into these projects and i absolutely love it and i respect it a hundred percent so Let's see what it looks like live. Man, am I excited. Let's rock. All right, before I start the reaction, just want to let you know this one is from the Daughters of the Dawn live in Tokyo 2019 concert, which is the amazing shirt that I am wearing. If you guys want to go and purchase that only on the Love Bite store, as far as I know, it will take quite a while if you are in my wonderful area of America, and it is absolutely worth it. I love this merchandise. I love supporting this band. So let's go right into this amazing reaction. Let's rock again.
lights and we play heaven on the top. Woo. All right. I did not expect to say this. I don't I don't think this will offend anyone. This is actually my favorite version. Not only was I able to understand each and every part of the song after hearing it now three times, but understanding that beat that you're on and understanding that literally it's not supposed to be just a head bobbing like, I want to do it in the right time. It's about rocking out. It's about rocking out, man. And this was such a great experience to watch the crowd connect to the amazing band just killing it on stage. Every single member is at their best at all times. It's amazing that they could sound that perfect live. I absolutely love this concert and I probably will buy this one and probably just all of them, just everything. No, but honestly, I really think that this is the best version of the song just because you get to see how much goes into it. You can hear some of the special effects that they use. You know, that first moment where you get to hear that weird noise. It wasn't really in the live version as much and it wasn't that standout feature. It's more of the studio quality that they wanted to show off. And this just lets them rock so, so well. This is amazing, absolutely amazing. This is a great song. I still wanna know all the lyrics, but at the same time, like I said, it's all about rocking out. This was a fantastic reaction, a very long one at that. Thank you all of you amazing Wolfpack members who stayed with me. I hope all of you have an awesome day and stay safe out there. Peace.